Well, down in California to check the bees, but before any type of checking of bees, one must have breakfast, which consists of bacon, eggs, and caffeine. So, you know, just the secret formula. So we're under a bit of a time crunch because we got a storm system moving in here in the next few hours. I'm down here in California, but just wanted to give you a visual representation of what we're aiming for. And uh, these bees have just brooded up beautifully. Um, you can see they're already having a cycle of brood hatch. If we go on the other side here, I don't know if the lighting, the lighting's probably not gonna allow it, but well, you can kind of see there. I mean, this, this frame is just packed with larva. And so exactly, exactly what we're wanting to see this time of the year, um, really great. Uh, smaller, this one was a smaller cluster, but I mean, they've got a full, full box of bees. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see in there, uh, cat brood. Like I said, can't take too much time here, but uh, just wanted to give you a representation of, uh, so this was three weeks ago that we were here. We fed them, uh, gave them pollen sub, uh, gave them two pounds of pollen sub. That's all that's left in this colony. And uh, yeah, getting geared up, getting geared up for the almonds. So we'll get, uh, get through these, this uh, handful of hives here, and then uh, go on to the next yard. And, uh, and yeah, just, just get them get them gone through but overall all of the bees are they're you know, just pulling out there's the odd dead out getting it out so we got good strong bees uh, going into the all i was actually getting uh, yeah. i was getting ready to drive off and uh, catch some lunch and then realized i should probably do a quick video just a little update uh i got finished here like i said i fortunately uh just a handful of uh, more dead outs got those pulled and so Kind of more to the uh, more to the point. Just wanted to give an update. So this is Tracy, and you can see the blooms. Still not, still not seeing any budding. Even though, I'm trying to think if this is an active. Um, with the price of almonds, or almonds, uh, doing what they've been doing, a lot of these older orchards are getting uh, pulled out, and I'm not exactly sure what what's going on with this or it might be a different variety but there is no no active budding as of right now uh, however i was talking to a colleague of mine that was uh, loading some bees we've got a seven day uh, at least that's what they're forecasting a seven day storm of rain coming in and so the uh, my friend who i partner with who places my bees for me down here they are they're they're running at full capacity to try and get uh, get the bees placed because uh, he was saying that actually there's other orchards that are starting to bloom already in this area and of course you know variety the uh, almond variety dictates that as well but anyways no overall bees are looking really good the uh, the kicker is that and you know this sounds like a typical year in beekeeping is that the bees the bees that are looking good look great the bees that suck suck uh, or you know what there's not even really um, there doesn't even seem to be room for for weak bees there just either seems to be the bees are doing good or they're on their way out like you know two framers or whatever else uh, fortunately we're not seeing that in our operation um, but we had we had way more dead outs than what I would like to see between um, what was our loss between October and January was about 20 percent which is really good however we also called very heavily going into the winter and so overall so if you go back to the our top number during the summer uh, early summer till now uh, we're around a 45 percent loss and which has become standard which just blows my mind that, that just you know, just consider that in any other livestock industry but uh, anyways um, yeah so that's that's kind of what's going on here uh, bees definitely uh, 
getting placed in the orchards. Uh, bloom is just right around the corner where they've been getting some really nice mild weather here. Yesterday was 68 degrees. Today it's been really nice. It's about, I think it's high 50s. But uh, yeah, anyways, so that's what's going on down here in uh, the Tracy area. And I will catch you later. Take care.